travel around heart. T. Zupan. Read by L. T. Zupan. Published by Leo Thomas Zupan IV. Copyright 2017 by Leo Thomas Zupan IV. In Chapter 4, Anne Isley. One dash 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 dash. Anne Isley, Hermitage methodically dissolves field offcast gridded grated shell u four. I first encounter I forget his name at the shisha, hookah bar lounge, whom had been bragged to or explained to also polyfidelity how to, engorgiation to have it demuted, yet translated. He was later homeless, sheltered with me, unknownest, pagan high priest, said man talking much. I resisted fellow all through. So, however, then partook recipients of an evolution of cross-cure, change-growth schematic there. The aura he epifined Across around the oval sphere, energy sent to someone can be redirected back around the circular spherical cross, golden flecked. I met Misha. She was an ornery, firm, knowing, somewhat nervous, wise, naive, cool person. I met Michael as a well. He listened to all my stories of travel which I was fresh off of, from L.A. I told he reminded me of Brad Pitt, and he said, that's cool, but next time I say, that, he'll beat me up. He was joking, but purposefully triggering fear. He told me, glintingly grinning, he made a blood oath with demons. We were at Waffle House, and we were drinking a cherry Coke, and he joked it had menstrual blood in it. His friend had some kind of ridiculous car, like a LeBaron, only much more preposterous. I explained to Michael I had much power towards the end of marriage, and I reached a crossroads where, attracted to the satisfaction of power, I could have chose either more power and harshness to others, or give up and accept the backlash from the others I had had power over. When I told I chose to give up power and paid for it, he said, When I met you first, I thought I was supposed to kill you. As he had confessed before, most people don't believe me, so I'll tell you I kill people. And implied it was work for the government, and later Illuminati and related. I delete them. But now I see this is not verbatim. I'm supposed to save you from the world. I told him about Gainesville, Florida, the plentiful, social, desperate, hot women, the energy, the weather, and we had dinner at my parents' houses. He explained how he was in the Marines and how his current work he does not like to talk about. I went to his parents as we were leaving for FL. His mom said he was just a baby still, and his dad said, a sheriff, he would hold me personally accountable for his well-being. I said, he's 20, he's over 18, it's his choice to go to Florida. His dad became enraged, and I said, I wash my hands, he's legally allowed to go on a road trip. Two, dash, 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 dash. Misha had 
references to sidewalk painted runes as ominous signs she wanted to give about my friendship with Michael. He often said, marijuana made him feel drunk, and he would apologize oft by saying, I'm sorry, I'm kind of a dick. We left first for Cincinnati, as the bulk of our friendship was based in metaphysics and pretty awesome 98% of the time. I was still naiver in some ways, too, of course. Some Columbus kids with us to be dropped off in Cincy. We went to the river area where there was a mall and hung out with a couple Cincinnati locals. We wound up back at their house, smoking and drinking on the back porch. Michael stirred up anxiety and social awkwardness almost entirely intentionally. We spoke later in the car about it. He said he would stop. I gave faith to his words, which were actually technically correct. We went to Gainesville, and upon getting close, I said I hope my old friends will be around. They should be. Three, dash, 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 dash. We went to the Taco Bell, where Kavi worked and saw her going through the drive-thru, reconnected to the two old friends. Kavi, Cody, Loic, Evan, Jessica, Chrissy, or Aranis, and others, with Michael too, we floated around North Florida. Some inner golf dirty key, eerie and amusing, we found ourselves. Thomas and his girlfriend picking up Michael and Keystone, he had a bizarre military bowl cut, buzz haircut, and had apparently just participated in some bizarre rituals. I broke off and went south towards the Keys. First, Miami was threatening. The freeways brought screaming people in cars shouting across 70 mile per hour lanes. I walked around downtown Miami and found it quite intense. I went to the Florida Keys, direct to Key West, passing through each of the other keys on the way on an ocean arcing freeway bridge through swamp and then sea. I found Key West, and it may still be this way, to be very homosexual, in a literal way, and very policed. A lot of leg hair, bronze, short shorts, cruisers. I roamed around and took a nap on a boardwalked pier. Later I visited the main strip coffee shop, overheard conversations, talked with a few key goers, and remained solitary as the vibe was really dreamy. I slept three blocks from the shore. Still not expert at finding spots. Three times in life I've been a rosal by police while sleeping in a car. The same sleeping outside, maybe three or four times. This time I explained. I was recently divorced, sleeping in my car, and is there a place they would recommend where I could sleep in my car? They said no, your best bet is to just not sleep in your car. I found later that Walmarts are best. Sam Walton's daughter was a traveler, and Walmarts let people sleep in their parking lot for up to three days. A very chill place, I recommend it so far. Back to Gainesville. Michael met everyone and returned to his parents' house, Ohio. Undangered. His parents relaxed would probably be imagined for dash 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 so mellowed around the gville sitting at mods tim and breezy called me they were stuck in memphis stuck because they have peta in company and no car you can't bring a sizable dog on a bus really and hitching is a challenge across country with two people and a dog after hesitation, I went to pick them up. With some company, we had some money and gas jugs, 
only towards the end with phone advice from Tem in Nowhere Land. Drove through into Memphis Town. Evan is some of company. The senile, light years advanced, metaphysically spiritual individual said. When we drove up next to a car of Memphis gangsteresques, those do rags just means it's somebody who cares about their hair. The probably gangsters made fun of us as we pulled away. One of us dressed like a Pokemon, likely part of the reason. They followed us for a while. We separated and met up with Tim and Breezy. Tim filled the car with life immediately. We jogged back to Florida and stopped in some Mississippi, some state or other on the way. Out of money, food, tobacco, the like, and this ultra-rural, middle-of-nowhere, thick, taller, ruby-green grasses gas station began standing numb, surprised at our appearance, energy levels. Four subcultures, including bearded, homeless, and neo-rave, and loud music on the gas station walkway with acoustic guitar and dog, we were calling ourselves Rafflecopter and Sacred Bling. At that point, they turned around 18 minutes later and gave us a carton of tobacco cigarettes, gallons of water, candy, and the customers gave us $40 for gas. Blaring white stripes all the way back, we returned to Gainesville. Five. Dash, 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 dash. I did have sex with some attractive women around this time period. Probably. I was, all in all, in the best Florida college town, and qualitative, the best town ever, so far. Gainesville. There's a new group, Evan, Casper, Thomas's girlfriend, and Thomas, a laboratory thinker, with a curious about serial killer morbidity in action part of his mind, and... We're just going to Asheville, we thought. But first, we left Gainesville, going north. And Evan joked, Hey, everyone, let's go to Valdosta. That'll be great. Let's just go to Valdosta. We did, however, go to a Georgia town, also called Gainesville, I believe. But regardless, it is the home of the Georgia Bulldogs. We felt it very sports-like. Liked the Bulldog statues on the corners and stayed for the coincided festival, leaving to Asheville as prompt. Six, dash, 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 dash. In Asheville, having stayed in two areas of town when married, one slightly removed outside of the municipal proper, introduced everyone to most everything, though not the Taoist temple or Earth Haven, as that was still new to me. We slept outside in the Blue Ridge Parkway forest, on hills, incognito, far from the parked car. Everyone was still a little worried, and we talked and smoked pot by the small, discreet fire of light. With Evan's friend, who was very kin with the Wolvens, Casper had some increasing issue, unrecalled, and called his parents, taking a flight back. I called Michael Ford and said I was going back to Gainesville. He said, no, you're not. You're picking me up and we're going to New York City to see Alex Gray's Temple of Sacred Mirrors. Seven, dash, dash, dash. We stopped in Columbus first at Michael's house, unwilling to call parents with the group I was with, a.k.a. with. We sat outside Michael's house, waiting with Michael in the car for his mom to return. Hazy astronaut helmets of clarity on. The rain stammered window glasses. Orbs of vehicle dew behind starlight. Thomas wished we would have heard more about Michael's father. It would have helped him more, and in retrospect, I do too. So we set off for Maryland first, destined for an anarchist town. After someone made a joke about having sex with Michael's mom, and he replied, 
Oh, you wouldn't want to do that. Trust me. Eight, dash, 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 dash. Through Pennsylvania, we permeated Maryland. Thomas's girlfriends, old friends, were in a small, anarchistically rooted town. And they showed us forests as special to ones in no. The only nature with the same vibration as Ohio forests, only much more potent and nearly nerve wracking at first, then awesome. We went then through Philadelphia, impressed by it, then Baltimore. In Baltimore, we pulled up to a stop sign corner. We was all dancing in the car, you know. And a kid pulls up in the car with his dad and shouts faggot at us. Now I'm convinced there is more to Baltimore than just that experience. One day, I embark willfully to return. Nine, dash, 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 dash. First stop in my second time in NYC, Washington Square Park. We had Thomas's guitar along with Thomas and were making music on the benches and walkways. We quickly ran into a member of the OTO, Ordo Templi Orientis, who reminded me of an old friend. He was screaming, singing, playing guitar covers of Smashing Pumpkins songs very well and very loudly, making the songs his own. He even had his own little following. We started talking. In Ohio now, the blazing sun is tundra cold. The OTO is a magical order that is awesome, masterful, and enlightening. We went to Union Square with one who reminded me of an old dear friend, Matt. Mimes and post-millennial beatniks. At the 24-hour Union Square epic traced by stone stepped park, we went about locating drugs and mutilatingly failed. Fan chasm ornament, we asked new friend, possessing much magic and with the ever intertwined wisdom subtle awareness if he could locate a variety salad of ecstasy or e-pills as he called them lsd opiated pharmaceuticals the so forth he wore my coat to go meet with described as hippie walking drug stand woodstock kind of a guy dude gave me a bunch of advice and said his teachers didn't like what he was doing in the OTO, but the elders, masters, and higher-ups thought it was great, and he should keep developing his transcendent of the material and possessive vision magics. He disappeared, along with the drug money and my valued coat. At some point, we were pulled over by an undercover looking for something serious. I took too long to find my insurance that I didn't have. We moved on to the Alex Gray Temple of Sacred Mirrors. 10, dash, 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 dash. The small, now better I hear, chapel became known to us as the Chapel of Smoking Mirrors because it was a bit of a letdown. It's about the journey and the destination, so it's okay. Alex Gray is termed a visionary artist and he paints elaborate visions of the energy world overlaying this one his particular perception lens. We had the car towed and roamed around an industrial area of NYC with large empty streets and rain and sidewalks while I petitioned my father, God bless, to unlock the car. We were seaside at the end of migrating to the tow yard and Michael looked deep in thought. Misty and muted, down in our spirits, two degrees below neutral, Michael said he was upset he was thinking about the future. His plan, I later determined. Reattaining Honda, having probably good advice, medium shouted at me, money given in Tegris. We slept in the car, worried 
with so many cops and shops and people. The cops woke us up at 7 a.m. and told us to leave. After another day in Washington Square Park again, looking for OTO person for recompensation and seeing Hendrix of flamenco guitarist ex-rabbi Avi Colon, who was busy with his people, some Greenwich Village coffee shop in the village, and some pizza and food. We drove through Jersey, looking for a place to sleep, and we were instantly lost. My friend had warned me to watch out for the Jersey Devil, which is responsible for getting lost. That state was just very confusing to us. We finally relaxed and slept behind a grocery store behind a bush. People told us to move. 5.33 in the morning. We traveled back south with less people and stopped back in charred stone obelisked Asheville on way to Florida. I showed Michael Green life, Rosetta's, an awesome place, and a cool tea house. Exit Michael, benefacted, wish we could have stayed there longer. I was just getting to know Asheville. In North Florida, the Gainesville again introduced Michael to Chrissy, a metaphysical mother figure of sorts, and said, no, not him, and then reluctantly allowed us in. 11 dash 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 dash. A magical order to remain unnamed was formed by me, Chrissy, many, many others. She gave me much Adderall. As she could tell, it was vibrationally inlaid on my avenue. Twenty of us met at the Astrology Park, yet there is more than one with stone monuments of planets and corresponding astrological symbols. Gainesville is that cool. To discuss the order or houses manifestationing and womanifestationing, Chrissy kept talking about battles to come with demons and encouraged everyone's weaponry. I criticized this and shied away. A pity the dense forest crystallized tapestry of telescopic spiritualists. Still, we stayed friends in the main. Twelve, dash, 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 dash. We started playing open mics. Tim, Sergio, me, others who popped up at epic, now defunct, Tim and Terry's coffee shop bar music venue that served food too, it seems. Not only could people open mic with a backup band, the majority of the fun was on the front porch. Violins, fiddles, bongos, weed, Adderall, alcohol, homeless, semi-welcome, I was close with Sergio, whom I magically ran into throughout the West and the Old South, and summer, around this time, later to start a musical project. Occasional band, The Spirals. We played 90s music and I bongoed at times, slapped my legs and feet, and eclipsed the time with singing focus. Polished nails black, always black, that era. Black cars, black cards, and home skillet girl approached after our little show on their stage and jam out front, saying, I really like your nail polish and asking about the song, she had rust galaxy curly hair and a freckled olive pigment, short and kick-ass, almost punk rock, with some scenester, hipster, and some definite soul. I offered her Adderall, which in college, and a counterculture back then, she already had a liking of. We went back to her apartment with her friends and mine, where they had a band set up of instruments, like a band of frequency. As we got very, very Adderall highlightened, we discussed music and I began channeling information in rapid flowing bursts. As apexing, they asked during an apogee if I would sing more. Okay, and I proceeded to squirrelch the Nobodies by Marilyn Manson with a climactic finale.
after talking more and more excitedly, her friend that was a girl assertively told me to go ahead and continue. I talked instructively to myself as well and left the powder bedroom parlor to Maud's later in the morning to meet Ben, a spiritual elder scientist, unexpectedly. He had a Benjamin a spiraled, symphonic, magical, spiritual device with clusters of eschered gemstone. This was given to me with clandestine invitation. 13 dash 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 dash. No, I won't skip the number 13 for the 13th chapter. I mean section. Hawaii. Hawaii, he told me, a day after I'd been out of the blue very seriously pondering and feeling, called to Hawaii, originally conceived of in California amidst rock-kicking roundhouse partiers. He told me, okay, you feel called there. This is related to us gravitating to each other meeting. He explained everything about the most hippie, progressive, and sacred areas those in the know knew of, and the how-to of getting in. I will leave out the details for now, to preserve and not ruin the rest of the chapter. B, hitherto as may, irregardless, was A, the prelude. Then, after eyes, a gots to thinking. How can I go over to those islands? Being a possessor of Honda, white imprinted with dirt, I set about selling car for plane ride, an ultimate for the compelled spiritual journey to Pele's fires. Not expecting to meet her deified friend, Q.Y. Two people were interested in the vehicle at its extremely low pricings. The first was a citizen who called himself the Devil. When driving his test drive, he called African-American pedestrian road crosser by children nigglets. I decided I did not want to make a deal with the Devil. The second person was Chrissy's ex-husband. She set up the deal because they were both going to drive the little awesome car that did not run on biodiesel veggie oil, unfortunately. But it is rad for what it is, and dependable. She bought the plane ticket, $200 cash for arrival, and 20 Adderalls. This is what I asked for her sake as well. 14. Dash, 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 dash as many previous nights, but this time charged with money and assets, and the classic last night on the mainland excitement, having drank wine by poetry circle micless open mic fires, broken up with star freckles, we embarked to really party, like a goodbye party. We began roaming college house party to college house party drinking. When that ran its course, we vortexed into Tim and Terry's Hawaii exit the next morning, but first. Two weeks before this, we were at Rasa's house, or Raza, or Raja, and took some pure family acid. Arjuna is a now passed on, epically hilarious GDF rainbow kid who had been an elder rock star in the festival going, drug dealing, business lifestyle with this ability to awaken whirling portals cyclonic, rhymed with iconic of contagious, unavoidable, and escapable funniness crying laughter, and he supplied this pure family acid to a lot of us free. Michael, Raja, Sergio, Raja's girlfriend, Summer, some other girl, some kid with Herkimer, a melodica, a big house, Arjuna, and myself. Alcohol, 
weed, Adderall, music as well. The particularly potent acid took over everything else. Sergio had a guitar. Arjuna kept making everyone hysterical. I had done hash with him weeks before, where I had three dollars to my name, nearly homeless, and I gave one dollar to Michael, who needed it for a one pound burrito, and was semi-homeless. The hash kept me in a corner at its heaviest, just stunned. He was singing 80s butt rock, or Ozzy, or both, and we were all crying. As the acid grew, Michael talked about how people's internal psyche wiring could be pulled apart in order to reach further in and rewire and transdigitize and or restore, we could say. In a little attic with paintings, melodica, and guitar, the deeper, shocking, terrifying experiences began. I became still and full of presence with grace. I silenced the room with a slow movement of my upper chakras and eyes. Michael brought up having a shield. Fifteen. Dash, 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 dash. I said, you can't have a shield without eventually having to deal with the sword. He said, I know. That's why I said it. A twinkle, very giddy, sparking, and cosmic in a star traveler sort of way, started to awaken in him as the acid became nearly unbearably strong. Very scary at the time. It was an amused and beyond our earthly fear-enforced limitations being or dormant part of being, becoming. There was an, at the time, eerie pillow or other combined with melodica skin sort of crawling magic carpet zones and tones, which had three monkeys on it, and said, three little monkeys are on their way, coming to save the day. And these pictures of these freaky monkeys. We went downstairs and the kitchen became a bubbling, brewing ship of kettles and old magicians by the mountainside's herbal organic laboratory. I really just wanted some tea. I thought it could, would calm me down. Michael, or my kill, picked up the pot of almost boiling hot water and when I asked for tea, he moved the burning water pot close to me and grinned and said, here, do you want some tea, brother? With a really scary grin, he kept getting very close to throwing it on me, and then everything he said got more and more threatening. I went to Sergio, like he was some kind of grounded root. Everyone started talking as one, and everyone was aware of it. Almost as intense as when I was 15 and took acid while watching The Crow. The second scene took days, and it was epic. I went to the roof listening to 1983, A Merman I Should Turn to Be, by Jimi Hendrix, on Oakland Avenue, but still intense. It was like a telepathic run-on sentence. No barriers between ourselves. We spoke as one message, telling ourselves we were one. I went to the back porch with Michael, and staticky sounding cyclonic portals with screeching were opening to hell, and everyone knew it. Scary looking zombified street people started walking by the windows as if it was dawn. I went outside in the warm Florida damp morning air, and me and Michael knew each other as Cain and Abel or Horus and Ra, or whichever archetypal and Egyptian correspondence. He said, I made an oath with him. I said, we both know he broke his end of the deal. You don't have to keep going with it, or something like that. He cried and agreed. I had some black American spirits. 
abbreviated 16 through 23 dash 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 dash. I started inhaling and smoking once more or again. Right. So Michael tried to kill me, then quit and acted like it was okay after. He was even gleeful about it. I'd give you details, but I don't feel like rehashing it uh, this time after they fucked up my hand. Written scans, and I'm typing with a fucking tablet right now. I sold my crusty Honda and went to Hawaii. I terrorized me and was magical at moments. I watched Constantine with its tobacco guilt trips. It sucked. I took acid at Waipio, near Waimea, in the experimental forest after climbing a thousand staircase, a baletic lightning bolt shape. It is the ocean rebirthed as bliss. After I stayed at four places or two, some Washington State kid, Matt, was with me. I taught him how you can take structures of each system in life instead of getting lost in them and their details. His brain rewired and he got fucking evil in return. Thanks. The experimental forest consists of pine forest, then as you walk, rainbow eucalyptus forest, then bamboo forest. I found a bamboo thronish looking thing. The locals were shocked we crossed the river by going in it. So dangerous, they believed. They were shocked to that we slept overnight and the fucking wild pigs didn't get us. Again, more details for, for, for you, but I'm just done with this. You're welcome and I love you. And here's some recovered fragments of sections 16 through 23. A piece of 18, dash, 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 dash. I went to the Kona, Hawaii, Walmart. After an Angelina Jolly movie, to spend the night at the bus stop. 19, dash, 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 dash. What I had heard about Hawaii was from Arjuna, the Hawaiian peoples, the Samoans, and so forth. Did not really like what had been done to their island and were a fairly violent culture. They called white people Howleys as a derogatory term and name sometimes. So I arrived at the Kona Walmart bus stop for Hilo Shopping Center. I went to a movie and it was terrible. I went to the bus stop bench at the Walmart to find a large Samoan sleeping on the bench. He woke up and started talking to me as I waited and eventually slept waiting for the bus. He said, well, in every group or culture, you tend to have good people, bad people, and people in between. I slept and the bus came at seven. Upon Hilo, Hawaii arrival, it was raining towards evening. I had no umbrella and no credit card, no knowledge of hostels. I walked from hotel to hotel in the rain, begging for a room, even though I had no credit card. After each turn down, I found my energy levels more intense, greater desperation, sadness, and outrage. I wound up sleeping in some partial gazebo affect. A piece of 21, dash, 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 dash. Time ran its course at the communes. I heard stories of others I did not go to, but went to one called Pangaea, which was led by mail and, well, I'll leave out the dirty rumors about that one. And heard of another where everyone slept with everyone. They could be deep sleepers, I imagine. The deciding moment to leave the first commune, commune, was sitting on the kitchen and main gathering houses front porch making music with some of the commune workers watching them get into screaming matches with alcoholic commune runner Ms. Wise her name of the place I talked with the blonde haired worker who had been at the commune for 18 years or some such 
And he said people have basically two choices. In his opinion, fuck that, and oh well. He was also an alcoholic and weed head who made his own wine. I saw his redundant sort of demise and left the second commune. The departure was because I noticed how the boss made it difficult unconsciously and intentionally. 22 dash 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 near Kahana Black Sand Nude Beach with music and drum circles. I met someone who reminded me of my old Sifu, one of a rare breed and very old soul. Kalani was also close by. It was something also cool. I has replaced it now, I hear. Kalani is a place that held ecstatic dance. I was told I could bring fruit as donation for the cover charge. Ecstatic dance is where people at Kalani of all types gather, from old people doing yoga to topless women dressed as cats to gothic raver to hippie to urban to children, listening to music that is of all kinds to dance on a gigantic wood grain floor. I met awesome people there, some from Hilo. The nature of Hawaii forest is epic, very dense, and in many spots or areas like paradise. A piece of 24 dash 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 dash. Whilst in Pahoa, Hawaii, city bus. So I said, you can make art. They said, oh yeah? And showed me a picture of a coconut bomb and said, this is a coconut bomb. You feel me? You feel me? Kept repeating that. Later, perhaps European Pahoa and told me it's just prejudice. Like that would make me feel okay with it. Dropped off at the Natia food store, raining towards night again. Matt wanted to walk back to the commune two or so hours. I said, there's just no way I can do that at this point, and walked into the grocery store and asked everyone working if they knew anyone who would be getting off that could give us a ride in the Hawaiian rain. And someone with a pickup truck did. Cinders and stars. We walked the last 10 minutes and arrived to find everyone watching Constantine, which could be a perfect timing to watch it, upholding the fascinating and as darker themes of the then recent. We slept heavy, blank, strong. 25, dash, 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 dash. And finally as Pahoa. A whole group went outing from a couple of farms, communes, to the black sand beach. I did nervously get publicly naked and went into the ocean. It was like a complete energetic upgrading, rebirthing, triggered by that energy spot of ocean experienced afterwards in the back of Saliha's pickup truck in moisture wind like a growing shimmer pulsing tingles to an intensely evolving the entire sphere of halos around the old head and above neck type 26 dash 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 leaving Bahoa for final a new group left with Lee's self Kona and busted over to Mountain Town first. I was surprised by the sheer variety of environs, climates at a two hour break. Kona calls and kept calling. We continued the migration across the big island and housing a hotel fell through. So we walked along the main and found Kona to be a very crunk and Torictist town, bumping and threatening at times, 
We went to the park they nicknamed Kill a Howley Park, and there was just an ill vibe undercurrent. We wandered elsewhere and found a little spot on the edge of the resort, tucked into a corner by the night beach. I went with one of the girls and braved to explore the resort. We come back and told the others it was cool. All of us went to a large outdoor black volcanic rock jacuzzi. We met people living in Kona who snuck into that resort to use the jacuzzi. We claimed we had not snuck in, mainly out of worry. Sleeping in the spot we found turned out to be nice and scarce yards from the ocean. Enough money came through the following night to get a hotel. We were ecstatic. The next morning I separated from the group and went to Honolulu via Maui. Maui was a layover, but I saw it through the plains and caught the essence. Honolulu was super plastic and had an Asian presence. I went to a European hostel that seemed legitimate and thought of movie. Twenty-seven dash 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 dash. There was a main room with a lot of Europeaners drinking light beer. They seemed nice. I walked along the feature causeway, found a coffee shop in the closest to metaphysical shop with most color and vibrancy I could find. In the store, I saw a product for Pele that described her as the creative center of the earth. Several people have accounted over scopic time that Hawaii does leave a soul with a charge that stays with it like a spark. I came to discover there were violent crackheads living by the alleyway by the hostel. After I had an increasingly threatening encounter, I went to a side Honolulu beach to meet a couchsurfing.com very straight-laced blonde younger girl in a white bikini. She lay on the sand with the huge rock star sunglasses and smiled at me. Somehow this was part of the same universe that facilitated situations like the one in Florida and the experimental forest YPO. Regardless, I've come closer to terms with the a universe that produces a sacred moment and then someone farts reality. Often endearing, often embaffling. No, we did not have sex. Way too much distance between us. But she drove me around Oahu and I returned to the threatening crackheads. A series of freaky, threatening events happened in sequence from unconnected people. As I went to escape the velocitation, I found a Quan or Quan Yin abode, which could be observable on an outer layer as shrine, the like. 28 dash 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 dash. Quan Yin is an eastern deity or being and ancient person who represents the qualities of compassion, beauty, and gives to help those who are in need. I connect with the representations which led to her presence and divinity. With more discovery pulling carefully back the petals, I was quelled and in love. Days went by mellow. I talked with a French man and told him how I really wanted to go to India one day. He said, it is very difficult in India, but I've been watching you, and I can tell you have a strong spirit. You could make it. A bus showed up with 20 European female lacrosse, no E, players, who spoke broken English, were very giggly and fit. Very simple in some ways, still not in others. The guys at the hostel were obvious joking and nervous, so I walked up to five of them at once. 
and faced the nervous vibes all around. The flow through made them giggle, yes. Fuck them, not that it mattered at the time. No, the light beer drinking TV congregators were much more excited too. I'm actually not in the Hawaiian sex club as it turns out, which is not a club club, but it is certainly a club. 29 dash 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 dash. <clears throat> Two days before the return to the mainland, a Canadian who reminded me of an older world renowned spiritual mentor student, also a Canadian, I had had internet correspondences with arrived at the hostel. After outgrowing sales proficiency, this connected mentor student duality, like all unwordable beings we can be, in turn connected the seduction community with the chakra system and ultimately with compassion, with evolutions of circuits, interdependent sacred geometry, Osho, and other blessings still evolving. So the reminiscent and equally awesome Canadian shows up with bright energy. It toned waves of clearing through vibes field. I was awoken in a tired space, feeling the intermediate levels of fear in the room. And the people surrounding the Canadian, whose name I knew for two days no longer do, were expressing curiosity in bright, nervous bursts. He had weed and some cocaine, which I was basically inexperienced with at the time. I stayed out of it, and people around him were predicting trouble, and he said, look, it's okay. Doing a little drugs is what hostels are all about. I did come to discover this basic universal truth. Days later, he invited me to grow out, drinking with him, and we bar hopped even though I was broke. I had only barred a baker's dozen times at that phase in life. He insisted on shots, drank in one fast hit to start, with whole salt, lime, squishes, followed with beers, then more shots still. We wound up wafting with slight saunter. The main bar street began blocks from the Honolulu Hostel. He asked handicapped homeless persons in the moonlight if they had various pills, oxys, Perks. They were iffy, then they did not. We went to an end bar as he asponded how he was a construction worker that made roads, which did not match his energy functionality. He said it was very difficult work, but it paid very well money. I mentioned a lot of problems that had been happening and how the commune runners had stopped me from spending significant time there, focused on spirituality and how I felt they had dampened, tampered, and poisoned the nature, along with countless other problems. He said, well, at least you're out tonight with your bro. I said, well, that's true. 30, dash, 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 dash. On the plane trip back, I went through massive energy shifts and in so learned how to change the color of the eyes. I had only brown, no green, over the sea at that time and learned how to multiply internal emotion energy as a well to tunneled fuel combed out top and bottom of breath and grow like spark of green. I can teach it in seven seconds but it's an awkward emotional frequency. Some people's eyes naturally change colors over week without effort. Color also changes to match 
different environmentals. 31 dash 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 dash. The plane main landed. It was Ohio winter. I looked into a Starbucks at the mall job. Chapter 5. Pagosa. One. Dash 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 dash. Pagosa. Pagavati. Self conjoined nature. Portugal. And the springs. Energy and coil. Polaris. Nicola. Or Nikita. As I am was fond of calling her. People were surprised with at the speed and ease. Conjuring a non vocational occupation, Alice. The Polaris Mall Worthington Starbucks is not Etruscan Persish. I worked discovering the barista ship of Starbucks is like the McDonald's of espresso making. I longed for Austin in my fucking heart. My manager was named Austin for a brief period. I was concessant, faking and compromising myself, watching the Starbuck entity get wired on its own product and sprite in buzzing patterns. Black Friday was suspensed on tobacco smoke. I met Nikola, a Russian with intimacy issues. I joke called her Nikita. We went out to the drinking bar houses. One time waveringly drunk, we went back to her Russian mother and sister's house and we stumbled around her bed. Her sister wearing strange Russian lingerie stampeded in aggressively and gawked. Her mother turned out to be a nice woman. She worked as a cocktail matress D. Lots of pink and blonde fabric clothes and like fucking Siberian cats with haircuts. They too were concerned with raccoons. Late in the night in Worthington, interview with a vampire, star studded, was watched. My father opened the door at that then basement and said, are you watching pornography? Bleary eyed and combative with okay intentions. Mm, later we drank Gatorade, alternating Mountain Dew and vodka until a swaying 8 a.m. I introduced her to my mother and started attending the circus. Two dash 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 dash. Originally high five. The goth pop club, The Circus, introduced me to an Asian male goth kid, 19 to 20. He had some friends in Columbus who wanted to go to some friends by Cleveland. We found a cool little cluster of music bars and talked with some Cleveland deers. We said Cleveland is nice, it seems. There are some cool scenes, they said with a twirly accented Mustafa looking like Satan. Yeah, the violence scene is great. So we went to Pittsburgh. On the way, three, dash, 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 wheeling, we were lost to. I had visited the Mothman destruction of the Silver Bridge-based town, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, years past, home of rumors facting that an insane asylum had performed strange, horrific versions of lobotomies on African Americans, and it did have an eerie vibe. Pittsburgh has many bridges, some steel, others not. We went to some supposedly cool spots, were misled, and wound up burnt out until some metal kids appeared and housed us. One of the alpha females had a Ain Bell shape slight and very lipstick lipstick. We went to the posed cool strip of bars finding semi-light aggression formed circle shells around an ashamed boredom with many. 
four dash 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 dash. After the Asian Gothic boy, small and scrawny, played its course, I attenuated and meet Michael again. He walked into Shisha with the same Egyptian goatee thing I had originally had and seen before from a Patrick of an archetype, both Egyptian with him strolling and smiling, but also like a southern civil general kind of attitude. He was gloating and fresh and vibrant. Michael said he returned because he had no winter clothes in Florida. Giddy. I told him the Hawaiians were sometimes harsh. He said, huh, yeah, I'd heard that. We talked about Buddhism, which he thought was good for introspection, and I talked about compassion and love in an effort to resolve the occasionally disturbing and sinister vibes. He was unaffected and built a pot of chai tea after threatening to throw it with gestures. Miscellany comment discussing about the third eye. I never saw him again, though there was one email a year later between us on Bookface when I was in Silver Lake. I received message about what to say before I interacted with Michael that night through signs. Someone tried to start a fight that night over peanut butter and jelly. They were very serious about it. I snapped for several other reasons and took a bus to Austin with the Starbucks paycheck and said goodbye to its manager, Austin. Five, dash, 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 dash. I started by staying in a home hotel I looked for a place to stay, more long-term, and first found a of Europeaners in the center of town who were nervous, but cool enough. The place that stuck was St. Elmo's. It was a furnished room in an almost his panic ghetto. The worst I experienced was some threatening mockery. I reconnected with an old friend, Ramon. Austin was as awesome as ever. Six, dash, 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 dash. I moved into a room at Ramon's in an almost Ephra Amer ghetto. Almost. Living there, I called Kevin and was hooked up with his music promoter friend, Aaron. So I started hanging out in the music promotion scene with another Atari Vibe kid who later gave me info about Guatemala calling it's just like very ghetto ghetto down there. The first night out with Aaron on 6th Street so forth I was at the lower level of a dive and a woman with loud lipstick told me she was in the music scene in Austin and could help someone have success and I was very lucky to meet her then, and she rudely commanded me to kiss her while she was drunk at the bar I had just met her at. <clears throat> the spirits were mellow that night, with no divinity calling alternatives. I went back to her self-conscious apartment, and the blood flowed within us. Aaron took us to San Marcos. It was a dreamy, meadowy, and innocent-ass college town. Aaron, also another promoter with a limp, myself. We met some Minneapolis business folk looking for hard drugs, and not in a very discreet or refined way. Minneapolis is a sister town to Austin, musically and other ways, though I've never been. They invited us to their expensive hotel room where we burnt and in took large amounts of hard drugs and had great conversation. Promptly, the one business salesman who was more on the mission for the drugs in the first place went back out looking for more with his convinced friend asking strangers. They were shortly arrested and we were moving on at that point. Anyways, we tried to tell them Common phrase, yeah. Seven, dash, 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 dash. 
I went all over and around on quest for working job. Texadelphia is Philadelphia cheesesteak and Tex-Mex. I quit vegetarianism after two years, eating a queso barbecue steak and onion ring pepper jack sandwich. I felt a pillar of energy return from my spine to the earth. I worked with Hispanics and existed very well with their company. Tori Amos was three blocks away one day. At Ramon's, an old friend Blake was staying there. Ramon's girlfriend Tara and an old acquaintance Carla. Carla was incredibly attractive in several ways and very dark. She practiced techniques to encounter demons and connected with them. She created fear regularly in others and played and learned from it with it. With a body like an evolved mannequin coke bottle, third model, and a fearsome skull and head, hatred was developing from her honesty and the lack of it around her, especially with Tara, the supposed sub-alpha female. Over time, it culminated with Carla taking a chess set made for her and going to a corner of the garage and smashing each piece one by one loudly while the others contemplated calling the police. High on ecstasy with Blake, she discussed Cthulhu and said, what if the apocalypse has already happened and people just don't know it yet? I had an encounter with her and desire and strange respect. Eight, dash, 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 dash. Freeman had a party one night and I, we went over to find, to find his endorsed, sponsored conspiracy theory, becoming tired and self-fulfilling quanta. I brought a girl cute black little over to Ramones until I discovered it was a male biophysically. I went to a place called Rudamaya, which turned out to be the more gypsy hippie mods of Austin. No place like it in the rest of Texas, more or less. At Rudamaya, I met Mike, don't want to give away his name, and he had moved from Corpus Christi. He was homeless and showed me how to paint curbs, emergent C address numbers. Twenty dollars each, ready-made. We made music together, his guitar, our singing, many expavents, police drawn to us and drawn away, blank. Rick, an older former hippie with a handlebar facial hair and good knowledge of the guitar. A band formed, people fucking with us at the Goodwill. We recorded the punk screaming Jedi death with its moments. Cocaine once or twice. And then I met Matt and Brianna on their way west. Nine, dash, 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 dash. I canceled the Ramon room and spoke with Kevin in LA. He said I could stay in a room at his apartment in West Hollywood. Our plan was to go to New Mexico Rainbow, then Pagosa Springs, Colorado, then further west to Portland. The national gathering was near Cuba, New Mexico. We found it after driving through a strange tiny dust town or a few in Texas, elsewhere, Abilene, drove into the 6,000 elevation forest in New Mexico gathering. There were strange metallic insects and pine trees. We camped by Main Meadow, and I walked around fire pit to fire pit, still becoming introduced, injected to the gatherings, witnessing different speech from different viewpoints, becoming elevated with all the very conscious and graceful vibes in nature. I became irrepreventably high when smoking weed and ganja for the first time in some time. I ate dank, forest-cooked love installated in plastic half-containers, met Tem and Breezy and Potato, and they were buck with it. Tim screamed balls and responded by caterwauling, Chalupa. He stumbled across half uphill hill, ranting about people cleaning up their shit and their dog shit. 
I kept laughing and everyone was surprised and serious. And I just somehow knew that even if he was serious, he couldn't really be. A spider crawled on Tim's leg at Main Circle, and I brushed it off quickly, not wanting it to bite me, him. And he got quickly hot and angry, telling me it's the spider spores too, and then apologized. I said I just thought it might bite him. Plus, Potato is fucking badass. I learned energetic mechanics when playing bongos at peace camp. Became like a center, well. The beat is up from the ground and in from around the space. Everything at that rainbow a prelude to Allegheny. Ten dash 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 dash. Santa Fe was, is different every time experienced. Chandler and Kratom with Kevin the time before, this time seeing Tim again in the dirtier side of poor side Santa Fe. Later again, Vagosa Springs is a old people quaint money town with springs never seen. Brianna's grandparents' cabin was given to us for a week. 1970s late decorum in quilted crochet emotion knit in swelled soul drama offering movements. We were exhausted from intermediate gathering changes and had a carton of American spirit filter lists. And I existed a handful of portion sitting in a porch chair Coloradian, bugs, plants, weather, essence, sigh, homeliness kettles, some weed, sun, and tobacco, the last of which doled out slight fearful, boulder, embodying molecule, sequence, many collective whore eyes on, eleven, dash, 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 first, they Denver, Dagonal, Footed, Rias and Tarch, Looks Clean, Refresh Cycle, The Bold, Err, Great Dank Exclusive Phenomena, We went to Brianna's parents' house, and were vortexed to two weeks. I applied the same curb paint strategia with reincarnated logo stenciliad to brains. Founding less money paid per curb, less curb selled, mild, but really weaker vibes or harshness than Texas. Plus at first I found opiatic and the little bottle on the little silver tray thing, glistening on the, actually, no, inside the medicine mirror space cabinet. Sneaking, worried, I ate a few, and indescriptinately outside back porch and gravel patio ground, yes. Little plants, and very gentle, tame, climate space after Texas wrote, missing components to a part of a then meant trilogy, with an 18 page or so opiate draw of creme de las as consciousness, cheese as Christ, later seen as second, third level, that field of connected evolution and particuation, particular meant parents, Brianna's deprived of their dharmic offspring, reflection, convince themselves, then Brianna, Matt, that we should all stay just longer and longer, so it became weeks. I was bored and went to coffee shops several times alone, and burnt out on small boulder, unaware of awarenesses that would lead to differences. Matt walked one night, 
all of us out and explained how there was a yogurt shop in Austin somewhere and someone once Corolla the yogurt employee girls and safed them and set them all on fire. He thought it was because they were too yogurty in a way. Twelve dash 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 dash. We rode to a gas station in Oregon, not just for the gas station and the vibes of the kerosene and the propane and a profane fight broke between Matt and Brianna, where he threw yogurt at very aggressively and screamed at her. They made up and we moved on to Portland where Bri had friends and anarchist presence about the city of roses, it fell through most. We stayed with couch surfers and I intercepted. But more rendezvous with a ride shared SF. The driver who provided a economical trip said 10% of the time he'd get weirdos. It was basically okay. I saw my sister and her vaguely insultive at the time boyfriend, Bob or Rob or something. Sergio and Summer picked me up out of the cold blue fuck you all. Thirteen dash 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 dash. We drove to LA and stayed at Summer's friends Rochelle and Ariel's and performed narcotics pretty easily with little to no rehearsal even. Resh and Ariel were basically lesbians, aka vagina dwellers. After a week of music playing and drug genociding in nearly four districts, which means three, we then went out to Palm Springs, California, a dusty trailer park and canning lifestyle, windmills, desert, and background mountains. We struggled enough that I wound up painting curbs in the desert snow level heat where you just really don't have to cook a Forsaken by Jehoshaphat goddamn egg because I cooked my hand for you. You undeserving mistletoe mailbox should be hit in the head with a piece of painted curb, actually. Readers, we recorded. Five to one, an original song outlet, others calling the project The Spirals. A label I won't commit dissolved band and I moved to West Hollywood to live with Kevin. We hugged when we met and the dynamic was bright as ever. 14 dash 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 dash. In West Hollywood I began living with Kevin and he knew Brian. Brian was a satanic meth injecting former player and I hope is one now again. He had a racist air conditioner that would tell him the most ridiculous racist remarks. We went to sobriety meetings to get drugs, and Kevin took in a mohawk heroin addict, really hot chick, into his bed, but never slept with her. The golden energy of the Hollywood geography would subside for days at a time, but generally didn't quit. Me and Kevin smoked meth twice and participated in absurd arguments that made us part ways for some time. I moved over to Silver Lake Echo Park with Rochelle and Ariel, the vagina dwellers. After much booze and occasional drugs, I did becoming ensnared in aerial sex, which was decidedly obvious and not repeated. Jason Burton an old friend of Florida, Ocala, the name Skunk, called out of the driven blue. He carried with him his guitar and needle at the bus station. Total gutter, scumfuck, train hopper, G.G. Allen effect. I went all around L.A. with him several times to get heroin, once to an elaborate five-person walkie-talkie absurdity. That was, I'm sure, time-tested. He kept getting lightly, violently suicidal, and the vagina dwellers grew to not like him much either, to flying in the face 
of their attachments to finance. But okay with the weed edibles. He left with his friend to San Diego, who had once been cornered by a group of bros, so he took his knife out and cut his own arm in front of them, leaving a vicious scar. <clears throat> Fifteen, dash, 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 dash. I did a lot of Adderall and smoked crystal meth five times. Received an email from Michael on Facebook saying one day we will go beyond form like Jesus' form depicted on the shape of a cross. On a second end day of crystal meth, I wandered about Silver Lake Echo Park at 6 a.m. and met a Spanish man with a tiny dog who said meth was like a spiritual thing for him. I discovered a med exp in the valley, L.A., that pays $1,100 plus. It went smoothly, feeding me antibiotics, two years tested for three days, in the freezing for test purposes. Hospital contained, I felt like a zombie rattling around the Hosporidori. Pool tables, internet, Burbank followed. I adhered a free two-week Emer Hotel voucher. L.A. Gov walking around Burbank talking with mall skateboarder kids unremarkably bored occasionally bussing else 16 dash 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 1100 roughly dollars the ever popular from medical experiment lab went to fly to Sarasota, Florida the one unexplored pocket of the state with white sand beaches and 400 of it to a room for a month. I floated around Sarasota board and discovering the new college girls were reclusive and old people populated and littered. JK the town. Julie Lotto knew for years off and on and took me back to the new college dorm she was so proud of with bicycles hanging on ceilings back when I was still tried to sleep with people who didn't actively want me it was an epic fail after learning backgammon from the landlord roommate whom reminded me of his mannerisms with bees I gave in to go to Gainesville once another 17 Dash, 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 dash. Gainesville. Oh, Gainesville. So I re-met Arjuna, who originally forewarned me about the Hawaiian hostilities, being half Japanese, half Hawaiian himself, during the psychotic trip with Michael. And Abigail, the poetry, music, fire, open yard, gatherings, MC, and went to her rich family paid for house, which Arjuna, the super grateful dead family, stayed at with her and his warhammer weaponry. I wound up staying there a week. I was immediately presented with ketamine, which was his very zony cat tranquil, which fractals out tangents of just pause, very spiritually beneficial, and awareness of other worlds, expansion. Next, Roxasets appeared with very occasional smack, eventually grams of molly, halfway between sass and presses in purity terms, appeared. For the first and last time ever, so far, I and we banged Molly. I shot up multiple doses at once of ecstasy, instantly ran to the bathroom and threw up. Then it all kicked in, like rolling waves outwards. What normally takes hours ingested in four minutes. The ecstasy that form in took is cosmic, literally. And much I learned. Much we learned much. Arjuna unlocked secrets of the universe with his older soul, and the centipods visited. 
Yeah, so rainbow centipods exist between this dimension, and yes, they are a joke also. Just like they sound. Transportaled, segmented, multi, fresset, light, carbonated, finish the bedpost. Eighteen, dash, 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 dash. Emily is a girl met at Tim and Terry's. A little odd, I thought, at first, but after Arjuna spent days helping me get close to her, and after 6.7 sexuality out of 10, Broccoli became the subject, not the plant, but a person who was Emily's archenemy. And Emily kept saying, yeah, Broccoli. <laughs> Overcooked Broccoli. That fucking bitch. And I discovered more and more her mild psychosis. And really, only a few minutes in the bathroom were really that good. Nineteen. Dash, 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 dash. A place called The Lab, invented halfway between mods and tea terries. I met Evan, and he started playing with the energy, creating fear and disturbance. Right at the peak of that, he said, you feel that? That is bad energy. I don't like bad energy. We played Pokemon later that night, and it was fun. Another day at the lab, I met a goth alpha girl who rubbed her breasts against me and flirted with me. I had a questionable vibe from her, but still went with her, and sitting at her house, she led me to the backyard where she found a family of possums. I thought it was cool enough, but she was very affected, saying, This is very special. This is rare. Later, she kicked me out of her house in the middle of a conservation and said she was God's favorite. I slept in the corner of some random Floridian's yard and was awoken by their damn dog. It was, yes, is, to then the idea I had to go to that Apalachicola Regional Rainbow Gathering. Twenty dash 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 green purple kitsch fat kids camp far from elsewhere. I started the rainbow mission in Gville at a friend Topher's house. There was a van full of hippie train hopper, but more rainbow traveler types getting drunk and stoned. One had glasses with hand crafted in spirals and designs arms. This monocled looking man told me how Tori Amos definitely is satanic. I said Doc, his name I believe. I need to get to Acola. He said, I think you'll get home. Home being the gathering. Topher and the myself were dropped off instantly lost, and we set, sat by a swamp line talking. He went on about how we would never be found, plus implied I was projecting some kind of fear through him as his arrogance proved his unintelligence for lack of a nicer word. A dog found us. We followed it to a first camp, healing camp. Maya appeared along with a Patrick Swayze-looking individual who intended to sail the world with his effing boat. The women had a sisters-only meeting in a circle area, which was promptly made fun of. The Swayze was obsessed with his totem staff. Topher recepted pine fever, and his voice became inflict chainsaw vibrationally. I met a girl who was like a star, baking and bursting out, though she felt me to be competitive herself. And Topher detarded a spousing crush with Maya. In retro fucking perspective, she was super consciously related to it, not to put a positive fine of a point on it. Around a fire, me, Maya, I became intimation dancing, closer sitting, talking, 
love, compelling, inspiring, adorationing, then watering, jealousy, vortex. Topher later sat by a fire with me and whoever else it may have in his hoarse voice. He proceeded a delicate refinement of a dance like a honeybee to in waving patterns threaten to flip and grab a fire log and attack everyone, especially me. He was conscious of how this felt. And after the medium terrorization said, there, now the return punishment is complete. I then pursued Maya less, for her sake as well as his. It hurt to not be closer to her. Twenty-one, three days before leaving, to Austin to give music another shot. I walked around, barefoot as usual, at the gathering forests, with mud, italicized mud, dank, brewed, differently, so as thicker coffee, in hand, smoking freely dispersed rolled tobacco, and murdering the breeze with some oldies. The sun shone through my body, and things were really great. A zone of crushed felt zen, sort of that gathering crescendo, not counting Maya, sorta. Two days before departure, I needed to get to Austin for music. If I first circulated for a ride, when fail fell, as a small gathering with few going that way, we switched tracks. I went from kitchen to kitchen, fire circles to fire circles, asking who was going to Austin, until one basically kind enough soul, Dragonfish, whose origin name slips through the consciousness, was trained for the road by Dozer, a Carrick. I never know, and Dragonfish asked in response to my question, Do you need a road dog? I replied, Definitely yes. Dragonfish is a shorter Pisces with a rad appearance and a purity that affected people much so. I explained the whole awesomeness of the Austin energy, with the painting income as Mehor Bonai. Okay, maybe Bonai is excessive. Bonisis. God is in, aka goddesses, with capital G. And we aimed to Austin, what takes 12 hours in a car became weeks for us, but we did achieve a ride. A ride from Gathering Central deposited us at randomness, and we hitched to 22, dash, 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 Pensacola. Dragonfish said, what's happening to a walker by? and the one turned out around and proceeded to become offensive due lack of sensitized perceptica and followed us him with Angie equals anger after enough fear and entering to the Burger King he re reviled another way. We started too, and I really did discover real hitchhiking and the thick difficult of it in thorough texture exposition of normal, close speedy eventationness days by one ramp, hours and hours wanting a ride, looking at every car, eyes, mean shock eye looks, back, anti non desympathy and even a few country Florida truck threats until night rise, so fall led to forced sleep by the ramp in a little foresty bunch. For a non-camper like I was, and even a camper sleeping ill, Ill Ellie is profound stress at begunning. People crashing in, police, animals. I've had many nights that lasted days, 
and this is oft why so many drink at night to ease the tension most houses still don't know about as well as the dark green star shadow of nature's exclusive ever fresh heart in the woods to a little tiny strange town where crystallists gave twenty dollars mingled with speeches to repair us then the town became eerier we continued through Bayou and all saying Austin that's a ways away and we passed through unrecommended towns arrived Mobile Mobile is hidden many minutes from freeway and it's one of the few major cities in America that is almost entirely African American culture we were helped and greeted and received full well for sticking out like thumb sores just told to avoid part of one area base reverbed through the whole town and city we gathered funds to get just enough for the bus to the next town feeling anchorless and destination craved Biloxi was the last of our trouble places 23 dash 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 Biloxi is a fucking inhabitation of casinos and elderly folk nearly entire a bridge leads in and out and we find ourselves trapped and sticking out again trapped in the sense that flying a sign cardboard for bus fare causes cell phones to police asking for the extra spare change ease the same thing walking out of town to a hitch spot impossible the police made us turn around. You can't walk on the bridge. So we went to the homeless shelter and found many, many people who were trapped and then dependent on the shelter for just said reasons before and wanted us to stay. Now, it's really okay here. You get everything you need here. So I had a donned and called the Galaxy Troll, as he called his self. Sergio Gisnifros. He said, yeah, traveling isn't all always a bowl of cherries, is it, Jackson? My rainbow name, Jackson. I said, no, frowning. Summer later said she thought of the time I'd rescued Tim Terry Breezy and had to help. I perfused her with human thank you words and they were on their way to the New Orleans to an engagement party of street traveler friends. We bid the facial fuzz kind lames who were perpetuating stagnancy and at least na neg Nancy were adapting to a stolen pickup drop down rust truck. We said we love and peace and of the best then New Orleans LA. 24 dash 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 dabbling before in coffee alleys with mistress Beth and her thin teenage wetchiness and a mole crystal head become turtle the next time this was post introduction emergeshion we connected met with Surge and Sums engaged friends in Trevune to the hotel they'd had number first humid New Orleans daytime and dark beauty New Orleans nighttime more indescribable qualities moving ahead twas a spiff hotel and a sociable couple to be or to be married groom had weak ass version of ecstasy MDA and shared it liberally giving us a weak ass roll AK X X we walked out Orleans the following day 
back to okay from having a whatever word it takes for someone to care that it was a way more than needed day and night of shelter while still caring that still others have much greater needs than we did. In walking, we settled in outside a joint squatted on sidewalk stone wreck tangles, trapezoids, dollar bill, sphere, with funky gypsy reggae tunes, fucking sparks like diamond golds were flying off the coils, stretched across a neck, again, guitar. And as they, we, me, played, worked, humans spenced and sparsed. Three, a sizable plant, bud, marijuana, about eighth. Seven, several Subway grinder sandwich foods. Fourteen, mixed drinks, drinkable anywhere, being Nolans. Twenty degrees. Money units of various until... Because the music was just grown. As cover twisted at first. Mo and mo till improv headed its ugly rear. So great it called a Richie to smile and look at us. With a hundred dollar bill in two hands to place it, and the cops had kicked us away before we'd returned, feeling fortune was close, Ing stayed five more minutes until the finale, as we were flying musically. All drunk then, one came to us asking us to play a show in one hour at a venue four blocks, Diag. The beyond genre golden rocking sparks unrefutably caned stir to magic. The others arrived and became show nervous. I pled with them and the show, the magic fizzled, fueled by cow shits or dis. Twenty five dash 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 dash. Three more noting. N.O. events, though first, brief attachment, substance, history, re, li, zero through twenty-six, seven, tobacco appears in form of hiding, parents caught, saying, you see this, this is not okay, we said okay, immediately doubting the oversimplicity in the V.I.B.E., being kids unlearned in fakery what forth just wanted to smoke later snuck one once at a deck later return seven alcohol beer my father's and mother's were strategic to give a can of metallic tinged light beer or other spellings of light and shock the taste receptors Years later, I smoked in rebellion to anti-drug rebellion, refused alcohol until 26. Roughly masturbed at 12, loved the third grade student teacher, fantasized about women wearing panties when I was in class sometimes, even though that was wrong. And the Victoria Secrets catalog started it all. Notable Nons vent to one walking along Main Strip, Bourbon Street, whatever. I found 150 Dolores of pre proportioned drug bags in a baggy bag, and, and it was white powders like five plus drugs. Look, I shared with Fug King friends, bless em. Notable two. A night with no hotel. A dragon leafish walked about in middle night. We witnessed a gang pinball, someone who was messing with them from fist to boot all round. Two people were robbed in front of our eyes, and a kind baldy told us 
This town ain't safe. You be careful, y'all. We walked towards home and had mutual visions of vampires in our heads, strange enough, and people from the end corner of the street meeting Ali fused as appearance with a dimensional shift or a glint of change where the space of the night and the avenue became beautifully darker. We walked away from them. Notable three and finale we slept under one electro-dwarved tower in the center of New Orleans, hidden and shown with that cliché to some of the me's in this world simultaneity. Wilder Rainbow and Gaiji saw a standing corner one and said that Guy's hustle is some kind of theft. Sergio and crew were not going west. We were dropped slight west at gas station, depressed, stressed, happy to be made. Still more music in a hotel, totaling three days in his moany weeks. Still expecting continuance of the rough two weeks before in O's. Only after, so we waited an hour at this one restaurant gas station in Louisiana, aka LA. 26 dash 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 dash. We had a sign written in pen on cardboard and it read, Need to go home. People kept approaching, saying, Where's home? We explained it was Austin. Form, it is not anymore. I'm not sure if they're such an actualization of such an essence, home. My core and former efforts is that there will be. One approached us too and said, his name George, that he would go to Austin in a few hours. We waited at the gas station diner and they gave us a free meal as George answered his phone after many calls. The stress broke. He arrived in a gloss four-door newer half of Zero's truck. George was a worker worked at a two school for cool as the main cafeteria person he even had an assistant. Even Stephen. I don't know the assistant's name as we fuck fight through these emotional fields of hiding, pressure invisibly negotiating which words will get through. After 17 years, he has an assistant. So in retrospect, George was tired of his random Louisiana town life job scene chose to go to Austin on a whim, niggas. Myself included with the N-word. Temporary topic flip. Woman. Another one wants me. Another one close. Another one gone. Woman. Wish we were, never were. Topic return. He gave us many several pecks, each of the Marlboro Red, 100s, and foods, sodas. Began a ride to West, which us, dude, hadn't accent, BTW. It's that I do fucking occasionally have an accent. I explained the painting curb, Mike Z. Joined us at an arrival 93.8 times quicker than the first half of the journey from Florida, the second half went. Uh, 27 dash 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 dash. We were placed in a hotel with George's hibernating $800 savings as kindness prominently well first the four days at hotel was a tinily rough quadrant of district in the middle, northwest. KRS one, respect. Geo Orge bought us bus passes and painting equip. So as we could get to painting again. Well again for me, new as draggle e fish. Some is fuzzy here until leaving, yet at some point earlier or later, in whatever way, this all I taught DF what was taught at me, 
and we took an opiate pills, one night becoming full of beauty and care, discovering he was fairly callous, under and over surface, by choice bifurcation. We drifted a ways apart after some time, and Mike Z became friends with him better. I re-became homeless, painted curves, wrote dark poetry to express some of the apocalyptic pain, and re corn erected with the Aaron music promoter. I was adepting at the pain and stress of curbs, and Aaron was involving his self and myself and others with a portable keychain internet company that was growing itself proud and brainwashed to hey took me to Houston fucking comma last dragonfish note there were sort of like fortune cookie sayings he advanced dragonfish say and then he'd say it 28 dash 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 Houston carried with it an enormity and a pulsing ripple of energetic reverb from the ground similar to the one day I had in Compton, California. And it is rather crunk, after all. I went to paint curbs and someone at a door said I was beating someone else's price or they were beating mine and the man appeared in question and we both said it's not a competition, more coexistent enterprise in so many words. I barely gathered enough hopeless acrylic painting funds before a thunderclap of storms one evening, and there was much base, some accusation of drugs after a chemonostic care from me to gone others, St. Anthony or San Antonio next. I walked the river walk again, still nostalgic of the former love, with ex Ren wife who was model dabbling at that time, to find a pigeon covered elderly silver headed hair woman. It was like she could communicate with them. I ended the beginning of internut sales. Twenty nine dash 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 dash. Mike Z and Lee Z floated around Austin, Texas, singing Santeria by Sublime and the Perfect Drug acoustic covers in some original material until I exploded the vocals B at the Rudamaya one day night dusk. Rick appeared S to become glued, calling the music world class until we gravitated a whole band with track records still on myspace.com forward slash spirals the band I absorbed in the only drunken period of my life which lasted a bit more than a month total alcohol swim it peaked slant after jailing where they collected two hundred dollars and I did how whichever pass go once, so it all did a time, walking around and about the police, some timed police had began to watch this Lee, and never as them, mid name, unt ill, I discuted a water bottle with magenta wine chantil fuchs. They sawed it and said, where will you be? Where will you go? If not jail, I said homeless, and that was punished. Can't let you go. Any might wear, buddy. In jail, not so tough. I met a drunk-ass chick woman, and she flirted with me, and me flirted with they, stepped in and stopped out. Yo, co, oh, no, you can't do that. A tat, tat fucking rad. Keep strike through in final draft. Chick. Woman. At that. The story made me snap. 
No more Austin and definitely the story here. End bar was Mabe. Stills of uh, after all. Bars closed to reopen after party bar type. And really, really drunk happens there. Towards the wane of drunk phase, I more son netted. I met a uh, individ who reminded me of American Pie Kid, who had cocaine, which ably was fresh to my unmapped self moving still. He gave his cocaine freely to us and received, except after C. Some of the my money. Eventually, one struggling homeless evening, I said, I'd have money in a few days, and I'd like to try some coke first to see if I was fond of it. He said, okay, and discarded a 3D chess inventor, his Italian friend, and him considered a vagrant. This inventor said, the one nice thing about sleeping in tunnels and being people like us is that we forget fast. He spoke with sorrow. I bid him the best, and I do. His chess really was phenom. In the kid and Italian friend's house, they canceled the cocaine and the ride back. I was tired and mildly bitter, complaintive. The Italian snapped and punched me in the head. I said I'm more zen than violent. Centered, crying, they let me get my bag and I walked miles through town, crying despair, every aspect gathering until a car stopped seeing tears as I moved. The college Hugh, man, missing component here, will complete later. Barely helped enough. 30 dash 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 dash. I aimed to the national gathering in Pennsylvania, unknowing it was the last trip there with a center that changed everything I ever knew to this day, and back, before departing the 50 or whatever states. Parental Greyhound to Ohio home, still avoiding Ohio at this point. A drunken court date for the money-hungry state. Though it was resolved near complete, I drank constantly, no further once at gathering. I met a gathering kid at the bus, and we hitched close to it. 31 dash 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 dash. He reminded me a smidge of Maynard, the singer, vocalist of Tool. A very spiritual band with mid to high tones and emotions. He had had problems with his brother, and at the gathering, in need of some healing, after four hours we achieved a ride. The pathway in requiring and acquiring walk. A pot smuggling turtle, the person esque home skillet, was beaming to meet us. We arrived tired and seated by the first camp kitchen, two days old, river rats it was called at the time. The person heading it was a bearded, gentle gnome type and was refreshingly not obsessed with guilting others to volunteer work as is occasionally the case at Gathering Rainbows. Doc Zuzu joined later and the kitchen camp became primarily Zuzu treats. A fuzzy, somewhat hardened, decent fellow, congruent sometime. Turtle Escher is all by himself, digging a behemoth heart fire pit and sitting circle known as heart bliss pit and simple the heart pit and eight, nine hours, two others helped. I fusely appreciated to him, yeah. Magic was stirring, and with words now is. We'll see, I'll see, you'll see. Dark gem jab Gab Foyerst, a fellow named Khan or Khan appeared and said he tripped to this gathering, having heard it's number two on the governmental Terra wrist watch list. 
New watch alert. Heliocopter hovered and circles of us shouted, We love you. Actually visibly deflecting and effecting their paths, each correlated love chant path redirect and death camp sparred mischief. Khan repeated how he had guns in his tent over there. The gathering disrespected and corely feared death camp. A ragtag group of seven to sixteen year olds. Dreadlocks. Stabbed someone in the leg once. During the sacred hour of silence they lit firecrackers in Main Meadow. I faced them saying, you know, people ought to listen to you. All Mo. It was the one time they were respectful toward me, and from thenceforth, they were quite a decent to me. Khan was LSDing, volatile to begin with. It was intensity in Tinseltown or what have. He kept saying, sober, unlike other gods, I'll admit that I'm going to kill you. I hid in the adult pine grass at the other sides while he exorcised in LSD land and discovered his fear and need healed. Another fellow dispersed experimental HPTALV5 governmental hallucinations. And still one more turned Satan as we all tripped. He alternatingly Conjuring snow and space, we mutually all witnessed. Scared, scarred, that amused us all. It broached or breached a threatening moment until I kept quit hiding and said, I don't like Cyclops, I like Wolverine, X-Men. And he said, Colossus, no one ever cares about Colossus. I laughed. A helicopter descended for a trippin' Sid, pronounced kid, who broke his foot or ankle or shin or something on the dark, slippery creek bridge with that. The tension relaxed and the gathering began to breathe, the peak stirring. Thirty-two. Dash, 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 dash. Barely, I unenthused, smashed into Tim, Breezy, plus Maya. She was distant. They were with the fat kids camp, which were ironically not fat kids. Just living large and far away, Charles in charge. People, mainly women, were gallanting with body-painted, significant bunch of goddesses, naked, I felt a knot balance, and am the alpha, am the gamma, penis painted male man, changing the ratio for naked all. The paint blanket surprise operated as three women. I wafted to them, explaining the sitch, and my perspect, delicately, fragilely. One blonde, gold, white, boldest of the feline bee paint troop cadets listened empathic and patient. We agreed. The nerves minimal. Quested a yellow, gold sun colored star framing the genitalia. A pink heart on the human penis's head. Closed eyes and sky gaze is babylonically controversial paints applied. I looked indiscreet, you could say. I stood apart from the people at Tad. All day. New experience in that book of experience. I remained naked. A minor challenge and a sequencia series of discovery. I retained clothes next day with the seed of planet travel roughly a page away. This sparky rainbow kid played the banjo, popular in forest. Magnificent. Third planet by Modest Mouse, a recurrence of song. I hear it now, can't duplicate his unadulterated voice, cleansing tone, grit, and clear. 
another banjo player named Banjo, inspired my novice to intermediate voicing, vocala sing, bursting Texarkana under overalls, 20-year country, great spirit kid. The gay camp was not cliché, very intelligent in certain unique ways, and not overtly sexual, lots of purples. 33, dash, 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 dash. After weeks of nearly ODing from the inebriation of sobriety, which is rather ultra with heart these days and nights. So here the core is, 33. Choices for completion of chapter A, think author is nuts, B, think author is lying, exaggerating, confused, so forth, C, feel when the magic, miracles, so forth of this reality are reported, wishing the best. Distraught with prison threat from a structure of collective equation. Two children in two far apart states of geog. Disconnected bureaus. An entry level position is impossible to have a shelter and exist in multiple money supports. Unable to connect the states without lawyers and transportation. Distraught at the least, eventually a deadbeat dad will go to prison in Texas. Far, far from acceptable. Unleashed this to caring ears, and leaving the states was a contemplation. The carer said, It sounds like you have the answer. I still paused with it. Interimning a measurable canyon of time. <clears throat> Shanji, enunciated Shanji, is an old from India dude with all orange robings, very mellow, nice, and humble. random, arrived with DMT to share, which was rare at those times, and potent. DMT is like spirit rocket fuel, extant in the center of the brain, released 40 days into utero, and at death, deep dream states, small amounts in children, and all through nature, the folks and peoples at earth have synthesized it, thousands times stronger than LSD or anything else. Books written about its experience are called the something molecule. I don't know about copyright shit, so random started spinning the Deemster about around and the subtle vibrational field in tides and ripples, waves, pulsed greater, as if called. Shanji appeared in the center. Random gave me potent XTC shaped in blue stars. I looked at everyone and surmised. I said, if we give this man, Shanji, DMT, perfect things will happen. The wiry old five-foot Shanji smoked a hit of it. Tension occurred everywhere like a welling cloud preparing to weep. Shanji shook his fist saying, Fuck, fuck, motherfucker. What is these words? What is this monkey business? And the complete gathering shifted. The drumming and shouting about the fields quelled, then began different from that one sentence. Had our focused eyes they gave an orange, and Shanji said, holding it in one brown, wrinkled hand, What is this? What is this orange? No one had a satisfying answer to the posit. 
the elementary question. We all were revealed energy, could see it everywhere. It looked like the Alex Gray type visionary art. People appeared feet from Shanji, wept, got angry, received answer, wept again. After several, we stopped doubting. We saw him pluck an energetic, burning love eye from the indigo third eye chakra point and place as a flower of a sort gift to one crying soul of a person who then began laughing, then mellowed with a charted centerness, sought finale found. Banjo's music and singing transfigured, and he cleaned his self with crystalline tears, singing one tone. I still hear now that cleanses my soul. Makes me feel like the unbounded, unburdened, timeless child, inclusive of adult, old, one, death, birth. Fear manifested, he said to us all. Are you ready to go to the great meeting? Total silence. I spoke as all. Yes, we are afraid, but we're ready. He led to the open center main field, where a rare, no way for anyone except extrasensorily to predict, a spontaneous council assembled exactly timed, synchronized, while the group awakened others along the way with a fire tone of Banjo's purified voice and a nerf sword one Krishna-ish chick had. As people were spontaneously enlightening just from our field of energy grazing and passing by them tears and laughter and epiphany, I called it all part of the X-Men prophecy. We penetrated the center sphere of elders and children. Anyone in between who was feeling called to council at the intuitively led spontaneous main council in a geometrically patterned center of 10,000 spiritualists of all types, including Christ-loving and Satan-respecting souls to speak as human mortal modes of communication, then universal with all. In the center of the center, Sean G. waited patiently. The feather reached him. How long? which does remind me of a HTDA single, of course. How long, he said, will we counsel? Must we talk? I don't know who I am, himself crying. They continued. He interrupted. When will we all stop this? There should be divine celebration. And waved an arm to the left, groups out of visibility and earshot of his motions. Flared confetti and shouts. Silent when his arm lowered. There should be love and dance and the boundless freedom of the infinite childlike heart. Waving his arm the other direction, another group out of eyeshot, earshot, at least from his arm in medium volume oratory, began shouting, singing, and dancing. He lowered his arm, silent, and the entire three football fields field silenced. The self proclaimed elders were stunned attached to power and what reality they were comfortably accustomed to, cowering at their own old and new fears, attached to covering all forms of self-nakedness. They tried to re-start the normalcy of a typical council. Me and a, me and a few others, some dead sober, chemically, shouted, did you not just witness this? 
and we broke into ceremonial uninhibited spiral dancing in the center of their fucking circle of soft sweet grasses and meadow. They became more afraid, told us to stop. We stared at them and said we will not force you, but your self-imposed prisoning is a tragic choice. 34 dash 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 dash. Maya found me and I went to River Rats, Doc Zuzu's kitchen camp and lied et with the ground and grass and greenery and her a waif of a hobbly adorable itsy 22 year maid who is home with a bonnet and greater than the elephant of sorrow was the thought of rekindling what had happened. <clears throat> I was not able to that scale ever since, though close in very different forms four to five times. And the problem is socially environmental, you see. Still, that will change one day. I sought Shanji again to find him with a scene of horse cops that often trot around those rainbow family gatherings of living light. The cops all faced him. A raid occurred at a Wyoming gathering three years before, so there was worry in the air, always with the cops. And Heckler at Rainbow said to cops, and now the economy's ruined. I stepped in saying, I doubt any of us, cops included, wanted the economy wrecked, and said to the cops, look, everyone's welcomed here. If you all ever want some coffee, let us know. We appreciate what you all do for the world. Shanji said to them, who are you? Do you know who you are? I don't know who I am. I know as best we can know anything now that who I am is beyond words, which the answer he was stirring to evoke. It was a question. The way we view questions, you see. So the last I ever seen him, he says to me, yo, you have to leave them. I quivered, utterly blank and very emotional with a weight of magnitude. Hard to imagine if you don't know the space of that day and its implications. I said, I'm no leader. I can't do it, I don't know how. But we knew it was a liar speaking as me, trembling and weak with a soul sickness and lifetimes beyond tired. As we parted and the drama receded and eroded, a woman was advised by him, there are three kinds of hugs. Go, tell the others. I love that, Shanji. Once I asked him if he knew him and he said, yeah, I love this guy and scruffed with him. For a second, the image of Tam and Shanji was identical to the image of Krishna or some cosmic awakened being representation of love and Hanuman or Haruman fucking identical. I went back to River Rats one last time. 35 dash 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 dash. The events of that 40 hour day gathered and transformed to a single thought, flashlight bulb, of an apophenia, the heart of the planet, this earth, being that, again, this was all a flash, logically deciphered afterwards, the largest forest alive in the world today, and now, is the Amazon. Co-inside-ently a home to ayahuascic shamaned only tribes who intentionally stir what we just had with a few African and elsewhere exceptions which I could not go to without money could be traveled to and the same event could be watered and fused there and instead of the environment impeding and the elders blocking the divinity and magic, it would concentrically unfold. 
I asked anyone who had been close to those events to join. They all slowly chose possession of fear, except Banjo, who had affairs to attend to and said he would meet me there. I missed him in Austin by two days when he did stay strong and bound with his word. I gave a thief my jacket when he eyed it with envy. I bathed in a pure as the driven snow rivulet. Thirty sex, dash, 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 dash. No six, ah, eh, whatever. Departure, one, two, three, one. Terrapin Station. A camp of more international says when I was oriented to them, don't worry. The borders don't check the NCID system when you go by land, I said. You rock. Show appreciate appreciativity. Two. What have it ever. Tea time. Camp, kitchen, mini family. Was next to last, beginning as damn beautiful. Washboarded street, quasi-Romanian, gypsy punk deep south and fiddles, banjos, scrapey voices, and the folks at the tea time were psychonauts, versed with Peter Carroll's teachings, and philosophers posed tea chins. They inner electrically spun. Well, it's a secret. What they were made sense, and I bid them great and better change, and I flirted with sevens, eights, nines, tens are rare, that's why they're ten. Three, information booth. With the maps and bulletins and all, I met Peter. I needed to get to Austin, to Leaf America for the heart of the Amazonas. He was dallying to almost flake out fuck around point when he did go through and say, okay, I can join his van to Dallas. We hugged. 37 dash 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 and now 37.1 equals C segment name or portion porous potion. Ah, ah, ah. Caffeine is interesting. It's begin introductory its peak, its mild crash, its maintenance as an experiment two years ago to this day, the year 2000 million. I took enough of those hornet yellow jacket pills to probably die, and looking in the mirror it was a volume of a flavor of a suffering I recommend people calm their own caffeine nature, actually. It was my call. Now as it's read, it's is yours. Moving along right along, I would just say really fast, quick actually, learn the process of mallowing from Stephen K. Ironically. So, a woman told Peter she could gastro. I did as well as well. He was nervous, and so I was. Nerves about it. We went to Nashville first, however. A rainbow house. Not the annoying drain bows, but a rainbow house. Welcome homed. Anne invited us through that threshold. We drank dark, beautiful wine. A not common at gatherings essence. Discussed everything. Listened to psychedelic ambient techno known as Sibiant. Now, I am you, not the cool district of Nashville. That isn't the bumpin' main strip, is where we were, drinking coffee, eating barefoot home fries. The air and grass was Nova. We gas drugged to Dallas, the last three fifths. And in that societally approved book about DMT, countless say they go through an interdimensional, hence release, et utero, death in quantity, portal, where eyes look like solar lunar systems, like 
areolas, and certain Atlians say that DMT, not a drug, is a technology. The aliens, countless reports, say this. I find the spiritual and the music and four other main avenues to be advancing also and obscured by the public's focus on blatancy, drugs, and aliens aren't necessarily literal. That the gas station people were so not rainbow after 1.484 months of consistent beauty and love and gentle wisdom. It was a shock and I murdered tears, at least most, as much as I cherish eyes cleansing. Dallas was remnants of Worthington, Columbus, Ohio, Polaris. Very money, but a decent party scene. And hot as ice, sexy, 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 model the still friendly somehow women found it to be an okay vibe, all considered some art, but not Austin by a shot. I hitched for 40 minutes after horror stories of weeks to hitch through Texas. A strange, nice woman gave a ride. We swam at the river in Waco, peculiarly vibed town. 38, dash, 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 full circle to Austin. Intended and basically accomplished independent autono from start to 90%. Yet the hurdle to Zipolite, Mexico, commune was nerve-wracked, uncharted, crucial. Needed care if only words received except after see. A transference of fears as cautions. Our neighbors will destroy me from you, Americans. So I went alone until now. While as I write this, there is a care from others about the me. Possibly being so not alone as to work at a hotel in the next week while caring for this book, preparing the restart of a fifth band and project. Perfect broken tones. And am facilitated to care for the world. These expressions is one of several vessels. And that was the origin. The next section is a bit tighter. Home one, complete. The heart of my chosen moments. Cozy, meaningless grocery store love seat. Slight knowing smiles, eyes sparkling mellow love between two and sometimes more of us knows. What a debate based in home so. Stolen and wanting to wish at least so. Expose a contrition, uh, reconcile it. Needs space in keeping, breathing, still going. Still going, still going. We held, will hold, pain soothed, care charged, pride apart. Sing all. And present gifted to memory. The struggle to be. Our personalities agreed make us leave. Love kills place time and. Need turns known to nothing. Sun, Earl Grey, and Cinnamon. 
red hair, milk eyes. Let a movement die, soft, swift tunnel, overlapping under. Stood skin shore, no more thoughts about perfection ache. Curse prayer, heart at the heart.